Good morning, Stitchers. Welcome to the beginning of my May stitching vlog. My name is Christine, and here we go. Welcome everybody back to my channel. If you're well, I'd like to welcome both my new subscribers and my existing subscribers. I appreciate you all for being here. Today is Saturday, May 6th, so we're already six days into May, and this is the first update I'm giving you. I usually like to get started on the 1st of May to show you where I'm starting at, but um, the week already got away from me and I did some stitching. But I pretty much picked up where last month's vlog left off on these two projects, my Mill Hill Peacock, uh, Laurel, Laurel Birch Peacock from um, Mill Hill. Did I just say that? Yes. And my Dimensions Gold Petite Beacon at Rocky Point, which I kept calling Beacon at Daybreak last vlog. I had to keep editing myself out because I <laughs> couldn't get it in my head, I guess, that I, I think it's because I was going to stitch beacon at daybreak and then at the last minute decided to do beacon at rocky point so um, I this is where I left off on that um, you saw and I didn't I haven't done any more stitching on that since uh, the uh, April the end of April so that has not changed and then um, what I worked on so far this week is my peacock and I did get all of the cross stitching done Hold it up here. So I did get all of the cross stitching done in the peacock and got the outer borders stitched. And all I have left to do as far as the stitching goes is the flower up at the top. And then some uh, continue doing the back stitching and the beading. So that's, uh, I think I had only, I hadn't had any of the, oh, maybe I had just a little bit of the flower started at the end of April. Um, but I still had a couple more colors here to do in the peacock. So that's all I've worked on so far the first week of May is this. And uh, what is there to say about that? I don't think I had anything else I needed to talk about um, with that other than just to show you where I'm at. It's Saturday morning and it looks like it's nice enough to go stitch outside. So I think I'm going to take this outside and continue working on the, the flower up at the top up here. So I'll give you an update just as soon as I have something to show. I guess I can talk about my plans. Um, I'm not going too crazy for Stitch Mania this year. Um, it's almost like I'm not even really participating in it, I guess, because I'm kind of continuing on with my whatever I was working on in May, uh, April. So I think what my, my uh, plans are going into May is I'm going to we'll just work on this until it's done. Then I'm going to focus on this one and I'd like to get it done. And we'll see where that takes us. If I still have time left at the end of the month, um, I'm going to go dive into the huge whip pile I have. And I think I'm going to choose one that I can focus on for the rest of the month. So I have some ideas of what that might be, but we'll see when I go take a, a dive into that pile, which one calls to me. But I do have a couple of them in mind that I might pull out. But so I'm either going to pick some that are very close to being done. And I think I have a couple that are really close to being done, but those aren't necessarily the ones I feel like stitching. And so I think either that or I'm going to go with my oldest whip and give it some time. So we'll see when we get to that. Um, May is going to be a busy month. I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of stitching time or not. So we'll see. But so far, I'm just going to do, as I said, focus on the peacock and then the lighthouse and see where the end of the month brings us. Okay, I'm going to go take my coffee and my stitching and go sit outside. And uh, maybe I'll just show you what my yard is looking like now. It's not looking quite as dead as it looked in April because spring is finally here, feels like. Good morning. It's the next day, Sunday morning. 
and I'm sitting in my car doing some stitching because my son Riley had to have a guitar string replaced so we were at Guitar Center and I have no idea how long that's going to take he's kind of new to playing the guitar so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be sitting in the car for an hour or 15 minutes or whatever but I, I, became, I came prepared and I brought my stitching so I woke up this morning and I have already done a little bit of the water going into the bottom part of my lighthouse and uh, if I had it with me, I would show you my progress on my peacock because I finished all of the stitching of the flower yesterday and then that was what I did yesterday morning and then last evening I did all the back stitching. So that project is now ready for beads and I'm very excited about that. So I'll probably work on that a little bit this afternoon. But that's not good car stitching. Beads, beads and cars probably don't... Uh, mesh well together I could only imagine certainly not with me anyway <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just uh, stitch uh, like I said I just he just went in and he hasn't texted me yet to let me know how long it's gonna take so uh, I'm gonna get some stitching going in some more water and I will give you an update maybe tomorrow morning maybe later today okay two stitches later and I just got a text from my son and he said they're going to do a whole tune-up of his guitar and that's going to take like 45 minutes. So at first I was like, yeah, 45 minutes of stitching, but I have a feeling he's probably going to want to come out to the car and go driving because he's been practicing his driving. So we may just go do some driving around for 45 minutes instead. So I may not get any stitching done at all. <laughs> we'll see. But... I have it with me just in case. So once again, people, always bring your stitching. Hello, me again. I know this is like not important to anybody, but it makes for good vlogging, I guess. Uh, you know, put a little bit of real life in there. Anyway, we're not gonna go driving because my son just texted me and said they're teaching him how to do his own guitar tune-up and string changing, I guess, so. That means 45 minutes of stitching for me, so yay! Wish I had some coffee. All right, I just wanted to show you what I got done. I see that my son is headed to the car. It did not take 45 minutes, so I didn't quite get that much. But I finished the water, and I was starting to work on some brown, uh, the shoreline or the rocks. So, yeah, got the water done. And now we're going to head over to my mom's, where there will surely be some coffee and something sweet to eat. See you soon. How's it sounding? Good. Hard to tell without your amp, huh? Yeah. Sounds good. I did that perfectly. Uh, hey guys. So I just got back from the dentist. I was driving by O'Toole's Garden Center and I saw that they have a bunch of flowers out. So I just can't help it. I have to stop and look at flowers. I'm not going to buy anything, but I'm just going to go look. Maybe I'll take you with me. Oh my goodness, did you see those dahlias? I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I had to bring these home because about, I don't know, five years ago, I would say, I don't know when it was, I was at this same store and they had these seed dahlias and I had never grown dahlias before. And they looked so amazing. I'll insert a picture of what they looked like many years ago. And I've never been able to find them in pots like this because they start as pots and then, you know, here in Colorado or maybe everywhere, we have to, you have to dig up the, the bulbs at the end of the season and then you have to keep them in your, you know, in, a, in your garage. And I don't know, I've, I love dahlias, but they're kind of finicky to grow. But oh my goodness, these are so pretty. And it really got me because they have names like this one right here. Her name is Emily. And then we've got one which is just a little bit different, sort of the variegation and the striping on that one there. And her name is Louise. And then we've got a couple of yellow ones. This yellow and orange one back here is named Kobe. And then we've got one more here. What is her name? Candy. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They need full sun. I haven't even planned my garden yet. But if anything, I'll make a potted plant with some, maybe some uh, white petunias or something like that. I don't know. But these are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors in those things. Oh my gosh. 
So pretty. Dahlias are hands down next to lilacs. I would have to say dahlias are my favorite flowers. Okay, <laughs> for all you that don't care about flowers, that's enough of that. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a week and I'm back in my car again. Yes, it's not, the, it's not the same car stitching session that I just was in. It's a different one. It is Monday, May 15th. Yesterday was Mother's Day. I had a, a lovely day. I was just going to go over to my mom's around noon, and there really wasn't much else planned. But then um, my older son, Hunter, was busy doing something in the kitchen, and he, he said it was a surprise, so I couldn't see what he was doing. And it turns out that he was making me some Japanese fluffy pancakes. It was the first time he's ever made them. And yeah, he was in there quite a while. It looked it looked and sounded quite elaborate. So I'll insert a little picture here or a little video of what those look like. All right, there's Hunter and look at the breakfast he made me. Japanese, what are they called? Fluffy pancakes. Japanese fluffy pancakes. Oh my God, those look amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go eat them while they're warm. They were amazing, and I enjoyed every bite. Anyway, here is my progress. So I have an hour. Did I say where I was in the car? I'm in the car because my son Riley is having some dental work done, so I'm in the parking lot of the dental office right now. And I think it's going to take about an hour, but I did use up some of that hour to grab me a coffee, as you can see right over there. So I have my coffee and some stitching and let me show you what I got done this week since the last time I was in the car because I did quite a bit uh, during the week in the evenings. Um, I think I was just working in this area here when we was I was in the car and I think that's the last time I showed you a progress so I filled in some little uh, areas here. I've been trying to kind of color complete some colors here and so I got a lot done and most of that was done watching hockey because of the Stanley Cup playoffs are going on even though my Colorado Avalanche has been eliminated I still have other teams that I'm rooting for so it's been quite exciting and there's been there has literally been hockey every single night and our Denver Nuggets basketball team is in the playoffs and so I've been watching uh, them too and I don't always stitch while I'm watching the game it just depends sometimes I I just watched the game. Okay, uh, I'm going to get to stitching and drinking some coffee, and I will give you an update. Maybe not right when I'm done, but the next time um, I have a chance to uh, turn on my camera, I'll give you an update and show you. I think I'm going to work down in all of this kind of red dirt pathway here. Let me grab the, this little spot right here because it's kind of um, mostly just coloring, filling in some color here with the exception of a few stitches I have to work around, but I might just work on some of that red dirt pathway right there. Okay, I'll check in with you soon. Good morning, it's a couple days later. And sorry I didn't give you an update when I was done stitching in the car. But I actually didn't really get all that much done. I ended up working in this green area right down in the corner and I probably only did one or two strands. And uh, yeah, then my son was done early so I didn't really get a whole lot done. And then in the last couple of days, I just finished up doing the green area in the corner. I'm sitting outside this morning in my yard. Everything's kind of starting to green up a little bit and it's just a beautiful um, morning this morning. And so I'm just starting my day out here with a little bit of stitching. I'm gonna maybe do one or two lengths of floss before I gotta get uh, busy with my busy day. But I uh, just wanted, didn't wanna leave you hanging there, show you what I, how much I actually didn't get done in the car. Okay, I'll give you an update soon when I have more to show. Still have not done the beating on my peacock, um, but I, I'll be doing that soon. Okay, time to go inside. Good morning, stitching friends. It is May Saturday, May 27th. And I'm here finally, finally finding a moment to give you a progress update. I had hoped to give you an update in the middle of the week, but it's just gotten crazy and the end of the month is even going to be crazier. So I'm here and uh, let's, let's show you what I've done. I finally did the beading on my peacock and she or he is all done. 
So that's how it looks from a distance. And now let's zoom in and show you the details with the beads. And I just don't know if this is showing it. Um, it's, you know, doesn't do it justice like it does in real life. But you can see all the little beading and the flower there and the very bold back stitching. I loved, loved, loved this project. I can't wait to start the hummingbird. So let's just scroll down there and you can see all the different beading. I woke up yesterday morning early just so I could specifically do the beading on this project. Because I knew that once I got started on it, you know, and dedicated some time to it, I would really enjoy it, which I do enjoy beading. Like I said, I have to just kind of be in the right mood to do beading, and I have to sit in my right spot to do it. So anyway, that is how it looks. Just beautiful. Not much more to say about this other than the fact that it uh, had some nice bright colors, and I loved every minute of it. So... Okay, not only did I do that, but I also completed all of the cross stitches in my lighthouse in the bottom half. But as you can see, I still need to backstitch and add all of the gazillion French knots that need to be done. So, but it, I just love it. I loved working on this project so much. So let's see, I started it about what? maybe the middle middle of April, and it's now probably going to be the end of the May before I get this done. So I would say a month and a half for a gold petite is not too bad, especially because it's an extremely busy month. And I did the peacock too. So very um, happy with my progress for stitching recently. So yep, I'm going to be doing some back stitching. I'm sure these little details here, the bird and the little... Um, funny story about those. I didn't know what those were. Um, <laughs> you know, I live, I'm a native of Colorado, so there is no coastline near me. Plus I'm just not into seafood or fishing or any of that. So I had to search what those were. They looked to me like lawn darts or I'm like, is that some kind of like beach game or, or what is that? And I didn't even really know what to search for. Um, I'm like, are those just like miniature, you know, um, beach umbrellas I just didn't know so yes I know. those of you that know what those are are probably laughing at me right now but yes I have since discovered that those are called lobster buoys and um <laughs> I learned something so yeah lobster buoys those are going to be more noticeable once I get the back stitching the little seagull there and of course oh this little flower basket um it's going to have a lot more detail the fence all the French knots, and of course, um, there's going to be more definition on the rocks and stuff here, too. So, um, that's probably what I'm going to do um, today. As soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to start uh, diving into the back stitching and getting that done. And then I think because the end of the month is going to be crazy, I might not actually find time to um, say anything more about this project, but I will. Uh, I might, I may just upload a video um, just showing in detail the finish because I do intend on finishing this before the end of the month. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the back stitching, and then I will uh, insert a video of how this looks at the end. There is something fun that I wanted to talk about that's not stitching related, but my son and I were on a walk. We've really been trying to up our stepping game uh, for our Fitbits and my son Riley. And uh, we were on a walk, on the walk that we do every day on the bike path near our house. And then hanging on a tree one day was this quilted heart. And at first I looked at it and I was like, oh, somebody, somebody must have dropped that and somebody hung it on the tree so they would find it. But then upon closer inspection, there was a little sign here that says, I need a home. I found a quilted heart. And uh, I saw that and, you know, I saw that there was a website and I was so excited. I'm like, I told my son, I'm like, oh, I'm going to grab this and post it and see what the backstory is on this. I mean, there is no better person I think that could have found this except me because I used to be a quilter and I completely appreciate the workmanship that went into this. I mean, look at how cute the detail is with the little, um, 
stitched stitched uh, the quilting there is little stitched hearts and then the different colored fabric and then this is the back side of it there I just think it's so beautiful so I of course went home and went to that website and searched all and read all about the history of this little project and um, if you're curious oh I it just totally made me want to get my sewing machine out and make quilted hearts and leave them around the city because it's just it's just simple it's just this you make hearts you leave them around and when you find one it's yours to keep there's really nothing more to it you can post your story online if you want but you don't have to it's just meant to make you smile and brighten your day by finding a quilted heart and yeah I think it's so cool so of course I went um, took a picture and posted it if you go to that website you will be able to see this heart that I posted along with a bunch of other hearts that's it's kind of an international thing so if you're a quilter and are looking for um, something to quilt for fun you might want to check that out I found a quilted heart so very cool and I'm so excited and I love it so much and it makes me want to makes me want to quilt okay I'm gonna get into that back stitching right now Good morning. I didn't think I was going to have a chance to come in and chat with you anymore this month. As you can see from that last clip, I did get a finish on my lighthouse, so I hope uh, you enjoyed looking at that. A nice up-close view of that. I absolutely loved it, but then I found myself kind of in a limbo period because I finished that on the 29th, which was Memorial Day here in the States. And then I have, so today's the 30th, and it's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I'm not sure if you watch my videos anymore, but just in case you do, shout out to my mom. Um, and I found myself in this kind of limbo period where it's, I have two days left in May, and I haven't really formulated any plans of what I want to work on in June yet, so I didn't want to um, dig into the whip pile just yet because I don't have a lot of stitching time this morning and this was sitting next to me because I brought it earlier let's see was it last week I brought my mother-in-law to the doctor's office and I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to stitch and so I just threw this in my purse thinking I might have um, you know just in case I had time you know always bring stitching and I ended up not having any stitching time so this was still sitting next to me unopened and I found myself like I said with two days of left in May and so I opened this up cracked it open and got a start on it it's also actually um, summer at Mill Hill hasn't started yet that doesn't start till middle of June so I wanted to pick something sort of an evergreen all all season type of stitch which that's coffee for me so you can see I'm on my second strand of floss. You can't really see it there, I guess. Yeah, just a small little start so far on that. It's just the upper corner there. And um, I'm going to work on that today and tomorrow. Well, I got it all done on the last day of May. I didn't do the back felt on it yet. Just barely got it finished last night. Um, but it turned out so cute and it was so quick. Not exactly sure what the sun has to do. Oh, maybe it's meaning because it's morning and it's it's coffee and the sun is out. Maybe. I don't know. It's cute though. I love it. You can see the beads there in the coffee cup. 
very quick stitch. These old Mill Hill kits are definitely quicker than the new ones. They don't have as much uh, to them, so you can really do them in like a day or two. All right, speaking of coffee, I'm going to go get mine right now. See you next month.